Are you afraid of speaking Spanish? Do you feel it's hard to achieve fluency in Spanish? Do you think it's impossible? Or that it would require a huge amount of time? Today, I want to share two tips to overcome all those fears and reach our goals. I'm taking a brief pause in this video to invite you to a free Spanish class where we will practice talking about your summer plans. This is 100% practical and you learn the most commonly used Spanish expressions and vocabulary for discussing summer activities, such as the weather and what you plan to do, whether you are going to rest or go to the beach. Do you know how to say I'm going to rest or I'm going to go to the beach in Spanish? That's what we will be practicing, so don't miss it. Register for free at SpanishCamino.com The link is in the description. In this class, you'll improve your listening skills and practice speaking in Spanish by using the language in context. This is a very special class, so I hope to see you there. Register using the link in the description and you'll receive an email with the details, okay? It's very important to do this to receive the Zoom link. And I recommend doing it now if you want to come because you might forget later. Be sure to write the date and time in your calendar so you don't forget. And I'll see you there. Now let's practice Spanish with a short story. Ready? Empezamos. Tip one. It's one step at a time. One step at a time. But the key is to be consistent. So one step at a time each day or each week. And the more steps you take consistently, the more you'll overcome the fears that block you because we fear the unknown. The more familiar you are with Spanish, the less you'll fear it. It only becomes easier and easier each day time until one day you will be speaking with confidence and fluency because why would you not? I've seen thousands of my students reach these goals. Why would you be different? You are also perfectly capable of doing it. So it's one step at a time consistently. Achievers look fear in the eyes and say, fear, I fear you, but I'm more afraid of staying the same. So I choose to progress even with fear. So one step at a time consistently. And tip number two, believe in yourself. Do you believe you can speak Spanish with confidence and fluency? Or do you believe deep down you can't? There is this saying that goes, whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way, you are right. You choose what to believe and what you believe is what you get. And this goes for anything in life. If you believe you can get a better job, your chances will be much higher than if you believe you can't, right? If you believe you can find the right partner for you, your chances will be higher because what you believe affects what you do and how you behave unconsciously. So you cannot speak Spanish with confidence and fluency and understand native speakers if you believe you can't, right? So believe in yourself. The moment has arrived. El momento ha llegado. The day when baby turtle is going to emerge from its egg and el día en que bebé tortuga va a salir de su huevo y face the outside world, enfrentarse al mundo exterior. She's scared, está asustada. She must make her way to the surface. Debe salir a la superficie and then run with all her might across the sand y luego correr con todas sus fuerzas por la arena, without stopping, sin detenerse, until she reaches the sea, hasta llegar al mar, facing possible predators along the way, enfrentándose en su camino a posibles depredadores. Baby Turtle knows that this is the only path to her freedom. Bebé Tortuga sabe que ese es el único 
camino hacia su libertad. So she gathers her courage and... Así que se arma de valor y... With her little flippers, con sus pequeñas patitas, emerge from the egg and begins to climb. Sale del huevo y comienza a escalar. Finally, she sees the light. Finalmente, ve la luz. Suddenly, a giant seagull lands beside her. De repente, una gaviota gigante se posa a su lado. Terrified, she stays still, motionless. Asustada, se queda quieta, inmóvil. The seagull flies off. La gaviota se va. Chasing after another turtle heading for the sea. Persiguiendo a otra tortuga que corre hacia el mar. The baby turtle starts running with all her might. Bebé tortuga comienza a correr con todas sus fuerzas. She watches as the seagulls catch other turtles around her. Observa cómo las gaviotas atrapan a otras tortugas a su alrededor. She's not far from the sea now. No le queda mucho para llegar al mar. She closes her eyes for a moment. Cierra los ojos un instante. And keeps running without stopping. Y sigue corriendo sin parar. Finally, she arrives. Finalmente, llega. As soon as she enters the water, nada más entrar al agua, the waves shake her. Las olas la sacuden and she loses control y pierde el control. Is this freedom? She wonders. ¿Esto es libertad? Se pregunta. She decides to trust. Decide confiar and lets herself be carried by the waves y se deja llevar por las olas. A few minutes later, unos minutos después, she has reached the open sea. Ha llegado a mar abierto. She feels peace. Siente paz. Everything is calm. Todo está en calma. Baby turtle knows she is free. Bebé tortuga sabe que es libre. Before her lies the vast ocean. Ante ella se extiende el inmenso mar. Full of infinite possibilities. Lleno de infinitas posibilidades. Moral. Freedom lies on the other side of your comfort zone. Moraleja, la libertad está al otro lado de tu zona de confort. To reach it, para alcanzarla, just like baby turtle, al igual que bebé tortuga, it's necessary to go through discomfort. Es necesario atravesar la incomodidad and overcome fear y vencer al miedo. If you definitely believe you can achieve this amazing goal of speaking Spanish, I've created a beautiful program that takes you from the egg of not knowing where to start to the sea, where you speak Spanish fluently and you open up an infinite world of possibilities in front of you. Remember that to be able to understand spoken Spanish you need a lot of exposure. That's why I create little stories for you here on YouTube. If you are interested in getting serious with your Spanish comprehension skills, what we do in my school is you have the Spanish transcript and the English translations. And you listen to the audios only in Spanish several times. Sometimes with the transcript and English translations and sometimes without to check how much you can understand. And you need to come back to these audio stories several times to get familiar with how Spanish really sounds because you need a lot of exposure to the language. If you'd like to find out more about this teaching method that gets you results to be able to understand spoken Spanish, you have more info about my Spanish school in the description below. If you enjoy these stories and learn from them, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to not miss the next story. New stories are released every week. If you are listening to the podcast, consider giving it five stars and leaving a review. It makes me very happy to see that it's serving you. Speak soon. Hablamos pronto.